One, two, three, four. Oh, it's the Hague Report. The Hague Report. La, la, la. Oh, it's the Hague Report. The Hague Report. La, la, la. Hey, guys. Oh, it's the Hague Report. The Hague Report. La, la, la. So guys, I'm James Hake. This is the Hake Report. It is Monday, October 7th, 2019, and I have a little bit of news for you guys. You guys can call in 888-775-3773, and I want to tell you about this uh, boy that got shot. Poor man. Poor man. And I also want to tell you about, uh, finally, a good story in, um, a good article, I should say, in the Rolling Stone, talking about this whole thing about this term, whistleblower. Thank God for some semi-sane liberal journalists, right? I got this from a, it was a retweet from, somebody retweeted, somebody tweeted out this article and I retweeted it. Um, and I also want to talk briefly a little bit about these people in um, who are supposedly getting in trouble for hazing and racism and stuff like that. There's some bad stuff going on in the military. Thanks, Obama. And thanks years of weak presidents, decades of weak presidents. Thank God that Trump is back in there putting in some sanity and rebuilding the military. But they've the Washington Post is no whistleblower on the military. They're not a good whistleblower. They're evil. Washington Post is a trash outlet. And let me get right into this before I get to calls. Appreciate you guys who've already called in and are holding. But I finally found a good uh, article in Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone is a far left liberal outlet, media outlet. They, they're supposed to be a music magazine, right? Rolling Stone, isn't that supposed to be a rock and roll music f- magazine? Where did they come out before or after the Rolling Stones, um, that, you know, that 60s group with that guy who's now like making appearances with Taylor Swift, Mick Jagger, and kissing up to the environmentalists and the anti-Trump crowd? What a beta kiss up. But anyways, like Rolling Stone has become like an SJW magazine. They, they're the ones who published this thing called A Rape on Campus. And they ended up having to retract the article, I believe, because it was so badly done. It was this female so-called journalist um, told this story of this woman who pretended to be this female student who pretended to be a rape victim, so-called rape victim, by these bunch of people or something like that. Some, you know, they have these fraternities on college campuses. And yes, the men and women are having too much sex, right? But it was called a rape on campus and there's all these f- examples of false accusations by females against males and some t- in some cases by gays against others and um, it's it turns out not to be true it's it reminds me of all these false accusations by black college students and other blacks against whites about oh I found the n-word painted on my mirror or on my door stuff like that And it turns out they did it. Or there were nooses, and it turns out that those were just um, little strings that were holding, you know, um, lamps or something like that. It's like all kinds of just paranoia and madness and fake cries of fake racism and fake rape and all that stuff. So I don't like it. I don't like Rolling Stone. But they have this journalist who seems to be more of like a, even though he is a liberal, he is... A um, one of the ones that try to be fair or actually call out corruption in the government. This guy, Matt Taibbi, and the title of this article is called The Whistleblower, quote unquote, probably isn't. Meaning the whistle, the so-called whistleblower isn't a whistleblower at all. And he says, or the subtitle of this article, it's an insult to real whistleblowers to use the term with this Ukraine-gate protagonist. 
And it's interesting that he uses the word protagonist because that's how the media narrative a protagonist is the good guy, the so-called good guy in a in a story. And Trump is the villain. And isn't that how the media always casts things as Trump being the stupid villain? When in reality, Trump is the wise man trying to bring back sanity to the White House. And somebody, I know multiple people have said it, that Trump is the real whistleblower. He's the one that called out the government for never, in a co- the course of decades, enforcing the border. Just allowing the illegals to come in so that, such that we had 11 to 22 to 30 million illegals in the country. That's one whistleblow that Trump called out. And he wants to drain the swamp. And some people think that the swamp is just the lobbyists and, you know, the people that pay the politicians money to support different things. Like, they pretend that the NRA is the swamp. Um, In some cases, these lobbyists are swampish. Especially if they support evil. Like the gay lobby and stuff like that. Or, you know, different things. But, um, you guys could probably name a lot more than I could. But, um... He called out the, the swamp, what to me, is the Democrats, the rhinos, and all the people that we've been dumb enough to continue electing. So, this guy says, start with the headline. He's talking about this Trump thing, Matt Taibbi in the Rolling Stone. In this story, the Washington Post, quote unquote, broke, <laughs> he says, on September 18th. Here's the headline from the Washington Post. Trump's communications with foreign leader are part of whistleblower complaint that spurred standoff between spy chief and Congress, former officials say. So that's a mouthful. Basically, they're just calling him a whistleblower. The unnamed person at the center of this story sure didn't sound like a whistleblower. Our intelligence community, meaning the spy chief and all that, would not, and he says, he uses a vulgar term to say, would not accept or stand with a real whistleblower. And uh, he says, Americans who've blown the whistle over serious offenses, think about the whistleblowers of the past and how the media has treated them. And he points this out. By the federal government are either, either spend the rest of their lives overseas, Edward Snowden, end up in jail like, he calls him Chelsea Manning, but his real, his bo- he was born Bradley Manning. That's a whistleblower. He leaked a bunch of information with WikiLeaks. And get arrested and ruined financially, like former NSA official Thomas Drake. You probably haven't, if you're like me, you haven't heard of Thomas Drake. Have their homes raided by the FBI, like disabled NSA vet William Binney. Or get charged with espionage, like ex-CIA exposer of torture John Kiriakow. And so that kind of exposes that these people are, are kind of liberals. He says it's an insult to all of these people and the suffering they've weathered to frame this ball carrier in the Beltway's latest partisan power contest as a whistleblower. Matt Taibbi says he's met a lot of whistleblowers in public and private. They end up broke, living in hotels, defamed, often divorced, and lucky if they have any kind of a job. One woman, whistle, female whistleblower he knew, was turned down for a waitressing job because her previous employer wouldn't vouch for her, and she had little kids. So much for this... You know, so much for liberalism, right? Acceptance. The common thread in whistleblower stories is loneliness, he says. Typically, the employer has direct control over their ability to pursue another job in their profession. Many end up reviled as traitors, thieves, and liars, which Trump is calling calling this person, which is what they, they are. But nobody else is calling them that, except for Geraldo. He called them a, a snitch. I'd love to whap him. <laughs> See if you can dig that up. That's a funny clip, in case you guys missed it. But uh, he's all, they often discover after going public that their loved ones have a limited appetite for sharing that ignominity. In virtually all cases, they end up having to start over personally and professionally. Look at what we know about this this first so-called whistleblower in the Ukraine gate. He or she is a CIA officer detailed to the White House. The account is at best partially based on the CIA CIA officer's own experience made up substantially by information from more than a half dozen U.S. officials and the private accounts of my colleague, quote unquote, my colleagues. So he's teaming up, he or she. 
was initially celebrated as a whistleblower by the news networks and the major newspapers. So if they're celebrated as a whistleblower, think about the, all the other whistleblowers. They've been called leakers. And then there's this whole debate. Is, is, he, a, is he a hero or a villain? Remember this Edward Snowden guy that exposed an NSA? And most of us were, like, not surprised that the NSA was spying on Americans. We just figured the government's listening in on us. But Edward Snowden confirmed that that was the case. And that these people in the NSA abuse their power. They're just regular people, and they're not elected, by the way. These CIA people, they're, that's why they're called the deep state. They're not elected. Trump can't fire them. It's very difficult to fire people and government employees. So such that even the president can't fire them? Crazy. So yeah, that's what you have. He says, if you, if you're ex if you spend a career, one, one of these actual whistleblowers says, if you spend a career in the CIA, you see all kinds of subterfuge, he calls it, lies and crime. And then this person went through his whole career, and this is the thing he objects to? You know, Trump having a conversation with the guy in, in the Ukraine and saying, hey, investigate Joe Biden. He's, you know, corrupt. We all know it. Check him out. So, exactly. And he says, it's fair to wonder if this is a one-person effort. Even former CIA officer Robert Baer, found, who is no friend of Trump, said as much in an early confab on CNN with Brooke Baldwin. CNN, right? And Baer says, this is a former CIA official. That's what I find remarkable, is that this whistleblower knew about that, this attempt to cover up. This is a couple of people. It isn't just one. So it's not just one whistleblower standing alone. Brooke Baldwin says... And on that people point, if the allegation is true, Bob, what does it say that the White House officials, lawyers, wanted to cover it up? Because of their constant leaks, maybe? Anyways, Bear says, you know, my guess is it's a palace coup, meaning the people of the palace, who people running the palace are staging a coup against Trump. The people running the palace, meaning CIA, FBI, deep state. Everybody knows not to trust those people and that they're a bunch of liberals. It's been exposed. And Trump haters. And who knows what else they know at this point. It sounds about right. Actual whistleblowers are alone, this guy Matt Taibbi says. The Ukraine complaint seems to be the work of, work of a group of people supported by significant institutional power. Not only in the so-called intelligence community, meaning CIA, FBI, all those people, but also in the Democrat Party and the commercial press. Isn't that interesting? So I just like how he, how he called out this whole thing. The media is all calling them whistleblowers, whistleblower, whistleblower, unquestioningly. Just because they went through the so-called whistleblower process and they're supported by all the fellow CIA people. At least the ones in the, who are out in the public. Maybe some normal CIA employees are like, well, this is ridiculous. There's probably a few people that are actually patriotic in there. But anyways, I have more info on this witness who was killed in the Dallas... You know, the one that was a witness against this Dallas cop. I still don't understand what, what he said that was so damning. But his name was Joshua Brown, and I'll tell you a little bit about the murder. The uh, uh, homicide that took place on Friday. And it doesn't seem like it was a cop who killed him. Based on, based on what the preliminary witness statements have said in the media. Let me get first quickly to Russ out of Virginia. Russ, how are you? Yeah, how you doing, man? Doing fine. Nice to hear from you. Yeah, nice to hear from you. I, hey, listen. Um, I know you're, um, how you feel about Colin Kaepernick with his protest. Yeah, Colin and Kaepernick is the former football player who at first sat out like a lump on a log like this. For uh, for the national anthem, so-called protesting, right. um, police killing blacks and browns, meaning right. blacks and I'm Hispanics. Not calling, I'm not calling to debate what he did. Yeah. I wanted to call and ask you, because um, he is an American citizen, and he has the right to protest if he wants to. My question to you would be, if he sat quietly on the sidelines in a quiet protest and you have an issue with that, 
how should he have protested? That's the, that's the question that I have never had the opportunity to hear the answer to. And that's okay. what I'm going to pose to you. How should he have? On his own time. So you saying that he should not have done it in the arena that he was in? Yeah, he had no business doing that in that uniform during the national anthem and all that stuff. He had no business doing it your, like that. But that's your opinion. He can protest however he wants to. And again, he didn't do But that's but that's anything. not that's dur that's during work hours. Imagine if I were to be an idiot like Kaepernick and think that Black Lives Matter had a valid concern. Like, like he See, does. He put a whole bunch of extra stuff in there, but go yeah, ahead. Yeah, but that's, but those are factual information, right? Everybody knows no, that Black Lives Matter is. No, it's not factual. Everybody no, knows, factual. normal people know that Black Lives Matter is a trash. No, not normal. It's no, trash. not normal. That's your opinion. No, go it's ahead. absolute trash. It's not opinion. No, it's not. No, it's not. You, no, you, not. you support Black Lives Matter? What valid thing do they have? What valid complaint does Black Lives Matter have? Listen, um, I think for myself, so I don't necessarily have to go into what an organization believes. But when I see instances, for example, uh, there's a guy, that, the, a white kid that got drunk and killed people and didn't spend a day in jail. And there's another instance where somebody was accused of something, was never prosecuted, was never charged, was never convicted, and he spent more time in jail than this kid that killed people. So I'm, I don't know what you're yeah, talking. You, you have to be more specific yeah, because don't. because yeah because you're bringing up um, stuff that I don't know about. So you're pretending that 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 validates Black Lives Matter's lies. Everybody knows that Black Lives Matter was started on two cases: Trayvon Martin, Every, no, Trayvon no, Martin. No, no, hold no, on, no, hold no. on. Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown. Those both ended up to be utter lies. And then all the other cases that they lump in there are just stuff that goes kind of outside mo normal people's knowledge, general knowledge of what's going on. And then they cite statistics that don't even tell the whole story that, oh, blacks are disproportionately killed by police. But they don't, admit, they don't admit the fact that blacks are disproportionately killing police and uh, attacking and committing crimes and stuff. So it's proportionate to how they act. And they're like eight or nine times in uh, San Francisco, more likely to resist arrest. So of course you're going to get to situations like that. So, anyways, back to the. So I just debunked your whole thing about Black Lives Matter. But well, no, you, you didn't. but no, you did. But no, no, you did. But you going back to, to your question, parade. going no, back to so, your question about no, man, uh, how I would is, act. This is your. This is your show. Right. So how shut you up. Can take control of it. <laughs> right. So shut you up. Said, you so hold, shut up? I'll put him on a. I'll put, yeah, I said shut up, Russ. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on. I'll put you on. Okay, it sounds like he's being I'm not, quiet. I'm not. Yeah. So, like, what what I should do if I were if I were to protest along with Black Lives Matter like an idiot, then if I were to do that while on the job with Jesse, he would fire me right away. But because and the, the and because the NFL people valid. are such because these that's NFL people listen, and listen. these owners are such cowards, they kiss up to the SJWs. You notice that the NFL is a trash organization now. They have the players wearing pink, supporting these, um, you know, uh, cure cancer stuff. And that's not actually cure cancer stuff. These people support abortion, which actually is linked to breast cancer, by the way. And so these people are not good people. And they support, they're just like the um, Sil Adam Silver, no, not Adam, whatever that guy from the commissioner of the NBA who got rid of that guy um, who was supposedly racist against blacks back at the Clippers owner, Donald Sterling. These people are just a bunch of SJW kiss-ups. Including, by the way, that other billionaire from Shark Tank. Pathetic guy. Um, I can't remember his name, but he's a pathetic kiss-up. Yeah. Can, can yeah. You're probably talking about yeah, so he should, Cuban. he should, uh, so if I were to protest in favor of Black Lives Matter, I would have to do it on my own time. Yeah, and not yeah. just, not totally disrespect the flag, which is what he did, and the country, which is yeah, what he did. Because I don't want you to put me on hold. So I can yeah, yeah, think. all right, go so for it. I'm trying to be respectful, <laughs> unlike what you're saying, but yeah. can I speak now?
Yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick went to a member of um, the military. No, and that's not true. Uh-uh. That is true. The, no, the military guy sought him out after he saw him sitting there so disrespectfully on a on a ice chest. Well, he was sitting like true. this. Like an idiot. Colin Looked like a total Kaepernick. idiot. And then the that um, SJW member of the military who supported him, you know, the veteran guy, the white dude, he's like, you got to at least do, make it look better. So he made it look better by kneeling, right? And so he started to kneel. And then so he basically improved his PR. But radicals always do that. The f- worst radicals are the ones that wear a suit and talk nice. And they become intellectuals and educated so that they fool the, the unsuspecting people that wouldn't fall for a radical like the Black Lives Matter rioters. So you're wrong. He didn't go to the military. The military guy went to him. And then he pretended to, to support the country, but he doesn't. He said that the flag and the country oppresses black people and people of color. And that's a lie. And he said that cops are getting away with murder and they're, and they're just getting paid leave, which is a lie. If he cared about people getting away with murder, he would be concerned about the, the 80% of, of murderers that get away with it in Chicago. It's like 80% of people in Chicago get away with murder. That means like the clearance rate is like 17. It's been as low as 17 and change percent. The murder clearance rate, meaning murders that get semi-solved where they either arrest somebody or the suspect was killed or whatever. So he doesn't care about people getting away with murder. He just yeah. is, brainwa- yeah. is a brainwashed social justice warrior. Can I speak now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm being quiet because... Yeah, I heard you the first time. The show. All right, I got to go, and man. Boring. Um, let me get to Chris out of California. First time caller. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Fine. How about you? Yeah, good. Uh, I just want to go back to your last comment. Uh, the first one about where uh, women are lying and stuff uh, uh, and falsely accusing men. Yeah. Because uh, that actually happened to me, my uh, my ex. Uh, she, like, accused me with uh, domestic violence and everything. And I had audio evidence. Wow. And, and I presented that to the judge. And they still didn't do anything to her. Like they, there was no repercussions for her lying. No, I mean that's a fraudulent case that I had. Yeah. And uh, and the judge didn't. She didn't even care. She said, I, "I'm not sure." That's that's what the judge's reply was in a letter saying that she wasn't sure about the evidence that I presented. To yeah. That's that's, that's, that's I think that's, that's so that's, typical. That that would mean that yeah. you would have to get a lawyer and like build a case against your uh, ex. But that's one yeah. reason, man. That um. It's one more reason that men who have sex out of wedlock give away their power to the women. Because the women, yeah, I, this, yep. a pro-woman, uh, which is really anti-woman, a pro-feminist, anti-male s- society that we have today is going to burn the man way worse. And the woman yeah, does but- honestly get burned too, somehow or another. Because it's not good for a person to do such an injustice against a man just purely for ve- vengeance, but yeah, it's not advisable. That's that's why um, that's why Jesse's so strong about that. That's one reason, yeah, one I, more reason why. Yeah, I, I have to agree with him because he he's the one that first told me, or he, I heard him say that uh, it's a retarded move to have sex with somebody or yeah. have children with somebody out of wedlock stuff, and I I do agree with that. Yep. Um, yeah, but this this woman cost me like I think it was like close to twenty five grand in wow. two years. Yeah, which is uh, yeah for lawyers and court cases, moving, storage fees, and everything. Yeah, and I, and I sued her for ten grand, but the judge just said, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, what's <laughs> the judge's job there? Man, that's crazy. You know, yeah. um, you know, were you living with her? Oh yeah, I was living with her. Man. Yeah, um, I was. I read this story. I at the, everything wrong. I read this story at the top of the hour about these dating apps and these rapes that are taking place. And I'm sure that some rapes are happening. Some of the women are raping the men, and some of the men are raping the women. I guess. But yeah. I bet you there's a whole bunch of false accusations going on too. 
You're just opening yourself up to that type of stuff. Yeah, is, yeah. Ever since ever since that, I've kind of been celibate. So yeah, it sucks, but <laughs> kind of uh, been. I've had a lot more peace in my life. <laughs> yeah, I bet, man. <laughs> yeah, got to build up. Uh, so you're digging yourself out of debt, or you're doing okay? Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm I'm doing good. Okay. After, after I got all that settled in, um, I got a new car, got a new place. I mean that. I had more money now than before when we were going out, when we were actually together. Yeah, isn't that two interesting? Ha- two household incomes. You know, uh, Trump has said this, and others have said it, that diverse, I mean, div- I was going to say diversity. Adversity. <laughs> uh, diversity doesn't make things better. Adversity sometimes <laughs> makes you better. And uh, yeah. you suffered for doing wrong, but you handled it right. And um, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because... A lot of guys yeah, are going. No. A lot of guys are going MGTOW, and it is understandable because the it is very pro woman, anti man, including the police. Yeah. I admit sometimes, but um, yeah, no. but it's well, it's is, not a good thing, thing to would... to get into that victim mentality because you become just like the people that you become just like the people that did you wrong, because those yeah. people all have the victim mentality, including yeah. the judges. The perpetrators are usually having a victim mentality. Yes, I, I do have to say one thing where the yeah. MGTOW people, like, uh, a lot of them have the, the, like, the psychology of wrong. They're just going about it the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, they, I've heard some of their videos, and they talk about paying attention to what the women are saying because they're telling you the truth. I'm like, oh, <laughs> sometimes I'll say, like, uh, uh, oh, you know, I'm hard to handle or uh, I'm an independent or something like that. Say that. Say the, that say the first one again. You don't uh, what? They're hard to, they're, You're hard to handle, she said that? Oh, she said that she says that to the guys that you're hard to handle. No, no, she says that to the men. She's like, "Oh, sometimes I'm stubborn or stuff like oh, that." Oh, okay. You know, then, okay. And that's all, uh, that's all, oh, all right. That's all code. Yeah, that's and, code uh, for get out. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's interesting. Um, that it's uh, yeah, the the, the make top people have some psychology of it, right? You yeah, know, you do have to pay attention to the woman because she'll tell you she's crazy. Right. But we just we're so obsessed with just getting the sex. That we don't pay attention to that. That is, yeah, that's so true. Yeah, Pe- men and, and women that, have that, become so desperate. That's advice that I give. Okay. Yeah. Men and women have become so desperate. It, and it's hard to even call them men, right? Males and females <laughs> have become very desperate. And it's... Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. The, um, the funny part is that women know this. And, and the guys, since, the, you know, I was separated <laughs> from my dad when I was young. And uh, that wasn't that wasn't taught to me. You know, once I got older, my dad started, like, trying to teach me, but it was kind of, like, too late. Uh, I, like, ah, no, I know everything I need to know already. And uh, then uh, then he, then I saw what he was trying to tell me, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. Yeah. So you're close to your dad now? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I spoke uh, with him about, I apologize to him, I apologize. I forgave my mom and my dad. Yeah. Uh, after I found Jesse's videos. And uh, so now we, me and my dad are closer now, and it's not... I listen to him more. It's not like how it was before. Right. So it's nice. It's nice. That's cool. It's nice yeah. to hear examples of guys that um, that hear the advice and see it, recognize it as good advice, and run with it. That's cool. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, that, Chris. Uh, I, I wouldn't have had that, that mindset if I wouldn't have listened to you guys. So yeah. you guys opened that door for me. Nice. Right on, man. Appreciate that. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you. Take care. All right. Love you. You as well. Bye. Let me quickly, before I before I get to the rest of you guys, hang tight. I will get to you. Hold on. Um, inf- let me give you info on this guy that was killed. So Drudge reports the key witness in the Dallas cop murder trial. I put murder in quote unquote. Um, shot and killed. Washington Times reports Joshua Brown, and we have pictures of him, who lived in the same apartment. Oh, one picture. Who lived in the same apartment complex as Amber Geiger? That's him. He's wearing a Dragon Ball Z t shirt and shorts, I think, or sweats in court. Got tattoos. Poor guy, man. He's shot and killed. I say poor, but yeah, it's messed up to me. Um, he would lived in the same apartment complex as Amber Geiger and Botham Jean. He was shot and killed Friday in Dallas. 28 years old. He said that he was in a, an, in a hallway on the fourth floor where he and Jean, Botham Jean, lived. He lived on the fourth floor. I think she lived a floor below, according to what one of you guys told me. 
And he said he heard what sounded like two people meeting by surprise and then two gunshots. That tends to corroborate her story, doesn't it? They met by surprise and then sh she shot him. If they both were surprised. That's, that's my take. Anyways, Brown became emotional at times and used his t-shirt, maybe his Dragon Ball Z t-shirt, to wipe his tears. And he said that he had met Botham Jean, the 26-year-old accountant from the Carib Caribbean island of St. Lucia, for the first time earlier that day. So Friday, police said in a news release that they responded to the shooting for shortly after 10.30 p.m. Friday. Don't go out after 10. Nothing good happens after 9.30. Joel can corroborate. <laughs> Not playing. Um, so it, he was out, and it was the, they responded to the shooting shortly after 10.30 p.m. Friday in an apartment complex different from the one where Gene was killed. They said several witnesses flagged officers down when they arrived and directed them to an apartment parking lot where the man was shot and laying on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds. The man was later taken to a hospital where he died. And they presume, I mean, it's presumed that that was Joshua Brown, the 28-year-old black guy who was a witness to the, at least audio, witness to the murder by hearing, he heard it. Uh, witnesses told police, blah, 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 they, they heard several gunshots and saw a silver four-door sedan speeding out of the parking lot. Doesn't sound like a police hit, right? According to police news release, unless it was undercover cops, hmm, who knows. But reportedly authorities have not identified a suspect or determined a motive. Dallas County Prosecutor Jason Hermes said Brown bravely came forward to testify when others wouldn't because of the no-snitch culture, I guess. I don't know. According to the newspaper, if we had more people like him, we would be in a better world, said the prosecutor in that case. Which is true, I guess, you know, a lot of, there's a whole big no-snitch culture in the black and ghetto communities where they won't tell the police anything. So murder cases don't get solved. That's why, like in Chicago, I mentioned, they had like a 17 point something percent cl murder clearance rate. Nationwide, I heard, as, at least as of a few years ago, the murder clearance rate is 60 percent. That means six out of ten cases get semi-solved by the c police detectives. Uh, that means that some of, most of those cases, or many of those cases, there's an arrest, or the suspect is killed, or whatever. And then 40% of murders go unsolved in, in America. Isn't that crazy? That's a high rate of quote-unquote success for the murders, for the murderers. That's not good. And in Chicago, it's 17% get solved. Crazy. In uh, Milwaukee, under, um, under the, and then I'll get to calls. In Milwaukee, under that guy um, that everybody that all the liberals hate, the black guy, Sheriff David Clark, he brought the murder clearance rate to 80%. That means 8 out of 10, 4 out of 5 murders were solved some way or another. And 1 out of 5, the murderer walked free, never got caught. Crazy. Just kind of interesting. So, Chicago is real bad off. And at one point, it was 25% clearance rate, 75%. Murderers got away with it, but kind of recently it got it dipped as low as under 18% Anyways, let me get to Chris out of Arizona Chris nice to hear from you again Can you hear me? Thanks. Hey, Thanks. yeah Thanks for taking one me. Yeah, I finally remembered you that you're a lady <laughs> You you know you're breaking up a bit Chris told me Hold on, Chris. Hold on. I'm going to put you on hold. Do not hang up. Uh, thanks. So let me get to Charles real fast out of St. Louis, Missouri. Charles, how are you? Hey, Hank. How are you doing today? Doing fine. Nice to hear from you. Hope you had a good weekend. Yeah, I did. Thank you. Okay. I want to look at this whole officer, uh, the villain incident that we had in a whole different perspective. Okay. No race, no male, no female. Okay, because that's how our laws are written. Am I correct? 
Yeah. Supposedly. Oh. Except for the case well, of that, hate crimes. That, hate crimes are fake crimes. Anyways, go on. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in this particular instance, we have a five-year officer. Okay. Uh, with special training. Mm-hmm. Who was distracted somehow to believe they were somewhere they weren't. Right. Not good. Am I correct? I, that sounds right to me. So, police or detectives or attack members have special training to know their surroundings, or they couldn't do their job. Right. So, we got a special officer who was distracted. Mm hmm. Off the okay. job. They get on the elevator, they push the wrong, they're on. I, I don't know if she got on the elevator. She, she might have parked on the fourth floor. I don't know. I don't think she walked up. No, well, but the, I'm but not you. Say she, what uh, it sounded like? Or, from, what it sounded like? I don't know. Like you and I don't know the story. Long story short, she went to the wrong apartment, and she's a cop, and she's supposed to know better, something like that. She should have noticed. She should have. She. The officer. You you you, know, you got a phone. Your phone is breaking up badly, Charles. Let me let me put you on hold and get your phone fixed. Uh, let me get to Joe out of Phoenix, Arizona. Nice to hear from you, Joe. Hey, James. Hey. So I, I was trying to explain to Jesse on Friday, but he just couldn't figure it out. I couldn't listen long enough. The definition of murder in Texas is knowingly and intentionally taking the life of another human being. Period. That's a that's shame. All that matters in, in the court of law. Okay. That's a shame. Her actions fit that definition. That's why she was convicted so, and sentenced. So when a so okay. when a so when a cop kills a suspect who has a uh, gun, right, in self defense, right, that and they murder them in self defense, that's still called a murder. No. Why not? Because he's knowingly and intentionally. Elements. Those are different elements, James. Yeah, but but you didn't include any any qualifying thing that would say that that's not murder because he knowingly and intentionally killed the person in yeah, self defense. It doesn't matter if she if it was an accident. It doesn't matter if if it wasn't premeditated. She knowingly and intentionally killed another person. Right. That's but murder in Texas. That's by definition. that's that's insane. That's all that matters in, in a, a court of law. Yeah, right? and so and so a cop who kills a suspect, um, you're saying that that's not murder. Why? Why not? Because if again, there are, there are different definitions of crimes. If if the police officer has to kill a a criminal in in the natural course of their duty, that is not murder. So there's a so there's so it's not as simple as what you just said to us. There's different crimes. Yeah. Self, self-defense can be an effective barrier to murder. Right, she but it's no but according to, to the according to the Texas according to Texas law that would be considered a murder still. No, it a murder not. in you're self-defense. Not, you're not listening, James. You're not listening. No, but you didn't. Self-defense. Yeah. Can be an effective barrier to a murder charge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But she. That's not what she was claiming. Her, her defense lawyers were trying to be clever and saying you stand your, your ground, but that did not hold up. Don't you think that the prosecutors were trying to be clever, too, by saying she intentionally killed him, even though she mistakenly went into the wrong residence and was confused? When she pulled her gun and shot, that was intent. That was intent, but it wasn't with malice aforethought. That's the normal definition of murder. Premeditated. No, first of all, there's no normal. Murder doesn't change state by state. No, but then there is a normal. The normal people know that a, a real mur- that a murderer is somebody who's violent, and this woman was not violent that is because. Not true, James. Yes, it Murder is. Definition then why? Let me let me ask you then, Joe. Let me ask you, Joe. Why did the judge allow the boy to hug her if she's not a violent murderer? It doesn't. That makes no sense, James. If she she's, if she, okay, let's, 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 let's I said it wrong, I said it wrong, I said it wrong. If she's a violent murderer, if she's a violent murderer, 
Why did the judge allow that boy violence. to hug her? I said nothing about violence. Murder is violence, right? It can be, yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so you, so you, the, so you agree that this should, that's a just law, huh? Definition. What? You agree that that's a just, you think that's a just law? It's just a, the, the law does not care about being perfect or does not care about justice. Yeah, nor do you, apparently. Well, I'm a trained lawyer. Yeah. I, I'm trained to, to, to look at the definitions and does the actions meet the definitions, period. This is why people, Their actions dead. this is why people hate lawyers. Because they divorce sure. themselves from common sense. Well, the law is not perfect, and the law has nothing to do with justice. So you agree that this was an injustice and was an imperfect outcome? No, absolutely not. Well, but you're not, you're not making any judgment. of murder. Her actions fit the definition of murder. But you're yeah. hiding, you're hiding so behind the... With, with, you, with, 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 with race. You're hiding behind the legalese and pretending that it's just. So you think she should have been let go or what? Yes, yeah, something else. Not, uh, not a, definitely not a murder conviction, and def because that was not a, that was not a murder. That was a wrongful death. It was, in maybe it was. You could call it a voluntary manslaughter because she knowingly did shoot him, even though she walked in and was all confused. So you could call it a, a voluntary manslaughter. James, yeah. she only got 10 years, which was the low end of the sentencing guidelines. So she did get 10 years consideration. No, but listen, listen. Well, yeah, because she's a woman. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. but uh, yeah, it shouldn't have even been, uh, I don't know, that's a messed up Texas law. Texas is all messed up. No wonder they're turning blue. So your main complaint is that it should have been a lesser charge. Yeah. And shouldn't have gotten well, that ty type of jail time. She got the lower end of the range. What, what are you talking about? Because it's like a messed up definition of murder. She could have got 25 or 28 years. She only got 10. Uh, yeah, but, but it's a messed up definition of murder. Then your beef is with the Texas legislature. Partly, yeah. Not, not, not the... But court. also the judge, yeah, the black judge and the jury and the prosecutors, that's, they're, they're, they that's pretty corrupt. They have to follow the law, period. No, nah, they don't have to do that. They never, they, they don't always follow the law. Wrong. Huh? You're wrong. No, that's not they true because, that's meet. not true because she was initially start, charged with manslaughter. And charges get changed all the time pre-trial. Exactly. So you admit that they weren't necessarily just following the law. They changed what they're charging her with. People don't, people aren't, people aren't charged with the crimes that they commit, oftentimes. You'll notice that blacks get plea, plea deals a lot. A lot of, a lot of, Not just uh, black people. a lot of people most get people plea get, deals. Most people get, 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 get plead out before a trial. Uh, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of, and that's partly why this, it's very misleading when, you know, you'll hear liberals say, Blacks are serving longer sentences for the crimes they commit. It's not just because they can't afford a lawyer, that's partly it, it, but it's also because they are committing more crimes than they are actually charged with, and they take a plea deal or whatever else. And so they've, they've committed worse crimes than they've actually committed, but they're serving a harsher sentence for the crimes that they are actually charged with. No proof. But the bottom no, that's, line is that's, that's a fact. How are you going to pretend that's no proof? Joe, you're fake. James, you make, you make stuff up and say it. No, no, crazy, that's but, not but made up. You, you don't. Have no facts you're, to back it up. No. I don't. No, I don't. That's a. I'm stating facts. I don't have to cite facts to back it up. I'm stating a fact, and you're saying no proof. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You you don't know that blacks are often committing more crimes than they're charged with, let alone caught with, and then they get they plead down. Again, you don't know to a lighter sentence. What, you don't know you that that's about? you don't know that that's true. It's you're trying to deny that can, what's you're trying to deny to reality. That can happen to anybody. I noticed that you're a snake people. too. I'm not the one lying. I noticed I'm, that I'm you're no, you, you're the one lying. You're a snake too. I noticed. Oh, you're unbelievable. Remember, remember. Um, you want to know well, why I call you a snake? Just, just, just because lie, you're lie. a you're an intellectual. 
and you haven't you haven't learned like you listen to the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, but you're still like a constant snake. That's just evidence that people I don't wake up because you lies all the people, time. And, and yeah, see, you're people. the one lying. And then what? W the reason that yeah, I know you're a snake. Yeah. One one example of why I know that you're a snake is because you Go told Jess, you told Jesse you're not a reverend. That means to me that you don't. He's not. One you don't. One you don't even believe in God. You pretend yeah, to be a Christian. You pretend to be about what's right. You pretend to. You pretend to care about the black people. Is, is, and is then you. Ritual. And then you say, "Oh, you're not a reverend." That means that you just He's believe. Not. You believe in men. You don't believe in God. You believe in what men declare. Oh, Jesse if I go to school, I'll be. I'll be a reverend. Like David Koresh, I'll be a reverend. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just, you follow people like David Koresh. That's why you're such a snake. Well, no, Ron and Dan, you, you, you just make stuff up. Jesse. No, you're the you one make making up stuff up. No you made up that Jesse's not a reverend facts. because you don't, you don't know what a reverend is. You don't believe in God. You believe, go in, you believe in men. He has no degree. See? De degrees. You don't believe in God. You He's believe in men. That's fake. I could say, okay. Well, yeah, exactly. You're now. fake. A self-appointed self doctor, but it doesn't. That's not self-appointed. That's appointed by God, and you don't believe in God. That's why you don't believe in. That's why you don't, you're not a real Christian. Again, it's fake. You believe in God, and you're lying. You don't and believe in God. Snake. You do not you're believe in God buddy. whatsoever. You're a lawyer. You believe you're in these snake. fake lawyer law, lawyer stuff. No, see, you have, you have to be smart, James, to understand. No, you're not what, smart. What you're not is. smart. You're smart because in your own you eyes. You're not smart, and you have no education. And you have no knowledge. I don't. I don't care what you say because you're fake. A Jews of Pacific is a joke. Yeah, and so are you. Ah. Uh, uh. So are you. Well, yeah, so. Yeah, okay. All right, thanks. You're ridiculous. You lie, yep. you lie, you lie. You, you, you haven't named one just, lie. You haven't named lie. one lie. You I lie. said that blacks plead down on stuff, and you couldn't, you couldn't Everyone debunk it, so you just down. said, no Not proof. Black people. No proof. I didn't say just yeah, black know. people. I said black people do. You said that black people have more crimes than most people, uh, people, which is the lie, James. No, that's, no, that is true. You don't know that no, blacks commit true. disproportionate crime? A tiny percent of black people do. You can, you can, you can downplay it all you want and pretend that you care about blacks, but that's, that's showing blacks that you don't, don't care, care about, about blacks. Feelings, James. You don't, don't care about care black about people. Feelings. You do not care about black people whatsoever. You're fake. I absolutely do because I no, I'm you in, don't. I'm in my community helping. Uh, no, that's you and, that's you and Jesse helping. Are online spreading hate, and helping lies and hate mongers. See you calling it hate. Day. You're just exposing yourself as a snake. Because you say black people are violent. You, you, they you, are. You say that. You, you and you're part of the problem, by the way. Don't. Back you are you part up. of the problem. You're part don't of the people that Jesse's talking up. about. No, I'm a yes. difference in my No, you don't. No, no. You no, hate. just maybe that's on a maybe on a physical level, you try to help out a little bit, which is why but you're you a snake. Demonetized on, on YouTube. Demonetized on, on, on YouTube. That's fake. You you, that's you now why. you're pleading. You, now you're supporting the same stuff. You're supporting the same stuff that you're supposed to be fighting against. You're supporting like injustice. You're a liberal. I'm supporting injustice now. Yeah, I'm you are. Supporting stopping hate mongering. No, there's no hate in do. there's no hate in Jesse. So you're the one who's you the snake. Do. You're the hater. Jesse hates black people. No, Jesse Mama loves Dan black people. He started the organization mother, thirty years ago baby, to support black people. He hates black people. You're with the past. you're fake, Joe. Because he lies and denigrates them every single day. You're the one who's Jesse full of hate. That's why you had time. a stroke, Joe. You're the one who's full of hate, and that's why you had a stroke. No, it's called high blood pressure. Yeah, You're an that's idiot. that's led, that's led by hate. No hate. High no. blood pressure is motive is pushed by anger and hate. You're a hater. Try again. No, no hate here. Yes, I'm you're full of hate. Make, make, How can you make, make be full of love and falsely and, accuse and somebody and helping, and helping who's supposed to be a fellow Christian? I help kids in my community. You and Jesse are online. Cry me a river. Day. Cry me a river. You do push not help hate. kids. I do. No, you don't. You, you don't help anybody. You push hate. You don't know. You don't help you kids. You and Jesse both. You hate. You, you push hate. Th that's all you are. You're the hater. You are what you're accusing us of being. Jesse. You are what you, you are what you accuse Jesse us of being, Joe. You're a domestic terrorist, and so do you. See? Look at you. You're, you, you're a you, snake. You, a domestic you are terrorist. an evil you, you snake. A mass. Gotta go. Anyways. Speaking of my favorite callers, Mays out of Dayton, Ohio. How are you, Mays? Come on, Najee. Jane, yes. What did Jesse tell you in church yesterday? Huh? You're not supposed to hate people because of their opinion. 
This man had an opinion. You don't like No, no, opinion. no. That's I don't What are you talking about? The guy that you just finished talking to. Uh-huh. And he and he so he, so he so hates he's a hater, huh? You know you admit that he's a hater? He's being a hater. That's his opinion. So no, no, no. He all, no, he was stating stuff as though it's facts. Those weren't opinions. When you call somebody a liar, that's not an opinion. That's your that's a question he said of a he fact. Was a lawyer. So have you been to school? Uh, you don't why, do, why does it matter if he's a lawyer? He's a hateful lawyer. I'm saying he's a hateful lawyer, Mace. How are you going to follow the, the law of the land? You don't. You don't. You don't care about the law of the land. Who came up? You with pretend to like care about God's law. I'm asking you a question. Who said uh, all these statistics that you're bringing out? Who put those statistics out? Doesn't matter. Who, I didn't cite any statistics. I didn't cite any statistics. I didn't cite, 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 did. I didn't cite huh? any statistics, Maze. I, I cited common you said sense. People, you said black people do what? Black people commit, commit more crimes, crimes than, they they're, than they're convicted for. And so we're looking at criminals now, like the boy that's too rich to go to, to go to prison for killing those people that ran over. What you talking about? Time, Jesse, ask, ask a person, a question. We're not talking about that boy. You're talking about that boy. That was no, like I'm years ago. Rich to go to jail. Do you think he should have went to jail for running over those people? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Oh, you're going to say probably. So you're appealing, you're appealing to the justice system, which is, oh, which we all know is corrupt. Nothing. I'm appealing to what I know. I don't appeal to. No, you, no, you're appealing to these laws. You, you just appeal to that no, guy being a lawyer. Laws. You pretended no, no. that Joe's a lawyer, therefore he's an authority. When he's no authority. No, I didn't say he was an authority. No, he's, he's a fake. He's you the law, but you, yeah. guys, you can't even follow God's law, and he put that down here for you. Y'all don't follow that as Christians, do you? What are you talking about? Because if you did, you would not be doing the things that you do every day. Love you don't. Table. You don't you even know what love is, Mace. You hate white people and you hate black if people, you Mace. Say I hate white people. That's your opinion. You also hate black people to too. Me. It's not an that's, opinion. That's your it's opinion. not a question of opinion. It's a question me. of fact. Just talk to me. Excuse me. You hate blacks. Really? What yes. you from? What, I actually once before. What gives you that reason? Just because you don't like what I say? No. It's not because yes, I don't like what you say. I don't have to. You hate. You hate blacks because you hate when people tell the truth about blacks. Well, you don't. Do you hate the man that told you the truth about you? And no, you no, no. But we were we're talking about you now. Yeah. Why are you, no, why are you trying to hate, change the I subject back to I me? Hate, I hate people that. I told you I hate people that dance for money. Ah, so you are a hater. A I thought you said you don't have hate. I, don't hate them. I, I don't thought you said hate. you no. You just said you it's hate like, people that dance for money. You, that's what you call it, hate. You so you and hate Joel? That welfare did not start with black people. You need to do. That doesn't matter. And. Why, why, why do I care about welfare, where welfare started? We, land, everybody right? sees that blacks disproportionately no, 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 no. get welfare. Don't you have to confirm a lie? That's what nope. we're looking at today, all these lies of people going to jail, jail and prison. Right. And lawyer for 10 years telling yeah. what happened and what he did to break the law. But nobody wants to believe it. going to keep your eyes closed and act like it don't exist. I don't know what you're so talking about, Mays. That's why I'm asking you. Why are you upset with this man that didn't agree with you? You can just, like Jesse told you in church. No, I didn't. I didn't who said I was upset? I just said he's a snake. Well, you calling them all kind of names? Yeah, because he's a fake and a snake. He's unnecessary. And an intellectual. No. Those are all true names. And if you don't know what you're talking about, it, it, that's, what, that's why some people... Yeah, he doesn't that. know what he's talking you about. You have proof. Facts, he's, he's, facts. No, you don't care about facts. Because if you don't go to school, and if you don't know what's going on, how are you going to be a doctor? How are you going to have doctors if they don't go to school? You're just going to have somebody operate on you that never... What are you talking about? In the classroom? You what are you, you talking shouldn't about? Go to school. You said you shouldn't go to college. I didn't so you say you shouldn't you go to college. college. I said you shouldn't. <laughs> I said you shouldn't go to these liberal uh, brainwashing organizations. Oh, really? All, yeah. all of them are brainwashing. Yeah, they are actually. The one you go to too, because you can listen to the brainwashing. Yeah, but luckily I didn't yourself, fall for this. You for that crap. You thinking for you, and when you have somebody thinking for you, you repeat what they had to say. All right. All Goodbye, long. Mace. All month long. You have a good. One. All right. You too. Let me get back to Charles real quick. Charles out of St. Louis, Missouri. Chris wasn't able to, to hang on. Chris is from Arizona. Her phone was just too bad. Sorry, Chris. Hear from you next time. Cr Charles, out of St. Louis, Missouri. How are you? Hey, Hank. Hey. Hey, you on a roll. I'm not sure I want to make my comment now or finish it. All right. F go ahead, though. Taking race out of it. Taking uh, rape, gender out of it. And looking at the facts. That person was most definitely guilty of first-degree manslaughter. First-degree manslaughter? What's first-degree yes. manslaughter? Define that. It's just under second-degree murder. What's first-degree manslaughter? Intent. All these laws are made out of intent. Okay. So she intentionally killed the guy because she thought he was an intruder. And so that's first-degree manslaughter? 
Okay, it made it first degree manslaughter. All right, so you agree uh, you so you agree that the murder conviction was unjust. Hello? Do I agree that it was unjust? Yeah, cuz they were they called it murder. Well, actually And you know what's funny degree. about what's funny about the lawyer that we just heard? You know, the guy who went to law school and he had a stroke uh -huh. because of high blood pressure, and he doesn't—he doesn't see that it's anger. Um, He—he hides behind the fact that um, abortion was legal, and so since abortion was legal, he supports the, the fact that Obama supported killing the baby after after the, he was born on the medical table. He's like, Ab abortion was legal, and there was already a law against killing the baby on the medical table. And so Obama just didn't want that law passed, for, and he meant, named some other reason. Well, I, about, I got a whole different thing about the whole abortion issue. Yeah, I guess but, that, that was that's an intellectual so-called Christian's excuse for supporting Obama. Anyways, back to you. But so you agree that that shouldn't have been murder? Then you agree that that Texas law, if what Joel was saying was true, which. Well, Who knows? Got right? the same it doesn't make a difference. Should have got the same sentence. No, that's not true. Uh, yeah, under no. uh, first degree manslaughter. Yeah, the minimum is ten years. What are you citing? What what fact are you? What what law are you citing? I'm talking about first degree. Is that are you talking about Texas law? That's generally all states. The minimum is ten years. I don't believe that. Here in for manslaughter, that meant the, same, the, the minimum is ten years. The minimum is ten years. I don't know what you're talking about. There's minimum sentencing for all laws. I know, I heard you, but it doesn't make sense. What, that there's minimums and Yes, maximums? because since it wasn't a murder charge, why would, it, why would the minimum be 10 no, years? No, it's a manslaughter. Well, from, I watched the trial, okay? After I talked to you and Jesse, I said, well, hell, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me watch the trial. You still don't know what you're talking about. From the evidence in her own statement, she was guilty of first-degree manslaughter. Then why did they convict her of murder? Because they went for a murder charge. Yeah. They're unjust people. No. It, yeah, they are. Don't yeah, they're, they're unjust people. Okay. Do you Blacks are very malicious. If, if I feel that... And so are liberals. You did first degree murder. Okay, if I feel that you did uh, first degree manslaughter, uh huh, I can pretty much convict you on that. But if I go for the harder second degree murder, it's not very hard with blacks or liberals. It has nothing to do with see. Take no, no, be, be, no, because you don't, you you can't because people don't think clearly. People don't think in terms of true justice. James, you can't. You cannot differentiate fact from fiction. I have a guy who wants to talk to you. And white mentality. I have a guy who wants to ask ask you something or say something to you. Go ahead. Bible go to guy out of Los Angeles wants oh, to talk to I Charles. The Bible go -to Thirty guy. seconds, guys. Go for it. Have at it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, James. Um, yes, all black people know how screwed up the black community is. The black nation is inside America. They all know it. They, they lead. They're the leading people, and you know, percentage wise. They, they have more abortions per capita. They have more murder per capita. They have more out-of-wedlock births per capita. They all know this. The difference is, when they're begging for welfare, then they bring out all those problems and say, well, you know, we got a lot of problems. We need help. We need money. But when you're trying to point out, hey, you've got a lot of problems. This is how you fix yourself. They don't want to hear it. Yeah, they think it's hate. You know that only 25% of all the like poor black else. people qualify for welfare? Yeah, a percentage-wise, more black people, percentage-wise, are on welfare than whites or anybody else. Yep. All right, guys. Appreciate that, Baba Gutu guy. Take care. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Charles, out of St. Louis. Man, Appreciate hearing bigoted, from you. That was a bigoted prejudice statement. No, he was stating, he was it, stating was it facts. <laughs> All right. Got to go, Charles. Take care. I got to go, Charles. Goodbye. 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 See you, guys. That was fun. See you tomorrow on the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. Rebuildingtheman.com to see our updates on the building fund and to support more. Appreciate it. I support. You should as well. And thank you guys who already are. Take care, guys.